Hello guys and welcome back to Simpleton's Impressions and today's well today's video is going to be about a collection which hasn't been done before on this channel so we're looking at the Mutant Muds collection made by Atui and developed by Atui so they're published and developed by Atui currently retailing at $14.99 on the US store and $10.99 on the UK store which to be honest I'll say straight off from playing these games years back, it's worth it. Uh, how they've been ported on here, they've also added in mod blocks as well. Sort of like, you know, your freebie in the collection, so free games you get in there. For your 10 or $14.99. Already you can hear that music, it's, it's inspiring. Just get the sound right on that. Um, but as I was saying, you know, three games for, for the deal you're getting. It's not bad. Let's start with the first one and just sort of check it out. Yeah, I'm playing PSP. Or I think I'm playing PSP. So my controller's a bit controls are a bit off. But here we go. So you've got three save files on each game. General story of mutant muds. Meteors come. Yeah, hit. <laughs> I'm losing my words. It's hit the place. There's mud everywhere. And obviously you've got that. I don't know whether it was inspired. Um, Super Mario Galaxy inspired. Or oh, they inspired Super Mario, sorry. But here we are. It's one of those retro platformers, which, to be honest, we cover quite a lot on, on the impressions videos here. But... I've missed one there, I'm going to have to go back and get that, because that's going to annoy me. And the general consensus is, you obviously you shoot these muds, and you're this little fella, I don't know his name, I've not played it long enough to, uh, to know him by name, but let's call him the mud fella. And from the off, controls, yeah, they're good. Here we are with those, I can't remember what that's called, 3D, 3D effect there. And from the off controls, yeah, they're good. Sounds, obviously, yeah, they're good. You can get a lot of sound in the last video I did on that world soccer, depending on when this is getting released, but... See, it also gives you a timer to sort of say when you've completed the get, but how long it's taking you to complete. Similar to the originals, but obviously looks looks a little bit little bit better, but not not massively. Uh, how to move? There we go. Big eyeball mod there. I can tell. Like I'm not a big fan of these sorts of platformers, but. Probably get 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 quite a bit of playing time out of these, especially if you're a fan of the genre and well, a fan of the game. It's, it has got quite a cult following. It's even got a physical release with I think it was uh, limited run. It might have been super rare, one or the other, but the, of the same. And we are the first levels complete. quite a few stages as well in the game and they're not all going to be as easy as that so if you're if you're in the market for a retro retro inspired game then this is this is the game for you and i kill him The jetpack adds a bit to the uh, to the game as well. We've got to get to the other side now. Again, it's a puzzle game. But yeah, no, it runs battery smooth. Uh, sounds good. Plays well. I'm happy with the first one. Bear in mind, there's three games in this. 
So let's uh, let's quit out and have a look at the second one. Have a look at the levels actually. How many are there? That's forty levels. So that's gonna that's gonna keep you for quite a while. Oh no, there's not. There's even more. You can go to to no, right. That should keep you occupied for quite a while, considering it's only ten ninety nine. The first game, yeah, fair enough. I look at the second because I've never played the second. I've only played the first ever. And again, it's not my sort of genre, but. I don't know the story of the second. I'm guessing it's going to be the same as the first. Like, it just drops off. Yeah, it's the same thing. Obviously, it's Mutant Months. The name of the game. So we're going to take a quick look over here. Just take a look at the second game, then we'll we'll see what the block game's like. The block game's more my sort of style. Looks a bit like it looks a bit like Mario's uh, bean, uh, Doctor Robotnik's Bean Machine. So hopefully, hopefully it's going to be quite similar. Otherwise, it's it's just not going to going to be to my liking. I lost my voice then. And, um, this is why I don't play these sorts of games. Because I'm awful. I love how it tallies up your deaths as well. But yeah, it plays well. It's smooth. It's not like I don't, I don't think it's emulated. Or anything like that. Because people got quite annoyed with the Mario All-Stars collection. Learning that it was emulated, but no, it plays alright. Can't really comment too much on it because it's not my sort of. Like, I don't know, it's not my sort of thing. I've never really got on with these games, but 1099, you're getting three games here, and you know they're looking quite meaty. From first impressions video, they're looking quite meaty. So it's definitely worth you. You shell an hour, it was just the two games. The 1099 is, is a pretty good deal. Let's have a look at what well, I've been looking forward to the Mud Blocks game. Right, so you've got a choice two player co op, you've got a versus, a rescue, three minutes, numbers. Not a clue, but there's so much. I've never seen so many menus on an indie game as uh, Mutant Mud's collection has. Okay, the controls are okay on here. They're not as smooth. You have to like, you have to move them singularly. So you might as well use the D-pad. It's a bit quicker. Not not amazing at these sorts of games, but we'll have a go. Here we go. Don't know how many we have to line up. Mud's rising. Can't deal with this. Oh no! I've just just absolutely screwed myself. Oh, we'll get that. Get that in there. There we go. That's how you do it. You have to get the, like the little water bombs. Things get intense. See, it's a bit like uh, Mario's Bean Machine, apart from like the, obviously the mud ride. And I'm guessing every time you shoot, you get rid of some blocks, the mud goes back down. And the more you stack together, yeah, I think I get this game now. Sounds so simple. There's not much to get, is there? I can see this becoming quite addictive, to be honest. Mm. Apologies didn't really do much on the second, the first and second games. It's just. Well, they are, they are what they say. And Mutant Mods, anyone watching this has probably heard of the Mutant Mods collection. If you haven't, then you know the general consensus is the retro platformers. 
and the bloody good games. I'm getting a bit too into this and enjoying this now. I think for the tenor, I'd, I'd, I'd buy the game just for this. But nah, to, to guys, do do get on this. I'll have a little look. You're into your platformers, and even if you just want them, but the, the the block game, and you know the the platformers, you can sort of sporadically play. You're not wasting your your money here. I think it's one of the first videos where I'm absolutely praising the game, even though it's not not my cup of tea. I'm gonna absolutely smash that. I'm on level five. I don't know how how many levels this goes to, but then I've wrote some good at the game. I've just got lucky. You can tell as well when I'm not really concentrating on talking because. That's that's when I enjoy a game. Smashing it. Oh, for Christ's sake. Too much thinking. Maybe I'll give a bit bit of time. I really need to start talking again. I've literally just sort of zoned out in this video. Um, yeah, it's a general opinion on the game. It's, it, it's alright. If it's your genre, I can't really say it's my genre, but you know, the, the first and second games, but if you're into them or you're hesitant on buying them, don't be, because you know, they're, no, they're a known series. I'm getting absolutely slaughtered in. So thanks ever so much for watching guys, even though it's been brief on pretty much all the games apart from the block game, just because it's my taste. Please like and subscribe, and if you've disliked it, please dislike, and all feedback is welcome. Oh, I'm liking this. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, have a good one. Bye.